What's going on everyone? Mike go back with another box break. Today we're busting a box of 1991 Donruss Series 2. As you see in the video here, um, Green Borders Series 1 was Blue Borders. Series 2, Green Borders. 36 packs per box, so a nice big box. I uh, want to say there's probably 10, what is there, 12 or 15, 15 cards per pack, so 15 cards per pack, 36 packs a box, boxes can be purchased for like 5 bucks a piece, so um, it's just a nice, uh, nice cheap break, you get a bunch of cards, you get the opportunity to go back in time and take a look at some older players and stuff if you're in the uh you know if you're in your late 20s or more appropriately your early to mid or late 30s it's a chance to go back in time and remember some of the uh some of the stuff you used to bust when you were a kid simpler times not really autograph cards and patch cards and jersey cards and all that stuff Cards were cheap. They weren't, you know, $100, $200 a box and all that stuff. But the hits are, of course, nice. So let's uh, get into this see what we get. Me, personally, in this, I'm just uh, taking a peek for some Phillies for the PC, which I used to have them all, and I don't think I do anymore. Potential TTMs if I... Uh, if I find some uh, guys that I can send away to, I'll always throw them aside. Bud Black. A Giants logo. Blue Jays uniform. Nice Matt Williams. Ryan Sandberg MVP card. Busted up corner on that cup one. Luis Gar uh, Gonzalez is a third baseman. He's changed a little bit over the years. Oh, Danny Jackson, Cubs. Some interesting stuff in here. Jeff Conine, rated rookie. I was a big Jeff Conine fan as a kid. You know he slaughtered the Phillies once he was a model and they just crushed him. Dave Justice, award winner, rookie of the year card. Nice little card. Sandy Alomar, Rookie of the Year. I'm going to try and uh, get through this uh, break as quickly as possible. Obviously, we have 36 packs. Um, time's going to tick up pretty quickly, but we'll see what we can do. I like the, uh, I like them. I like the cards. Um, green Border changes it up a little bit. Same design as Series 1, but, you know, a little different color tone, of course. Player selection looks interesting so far. I didn't check on the checklist or anything ahead of time. A little Willie Stargell uh, card, which uh, shows the puzzle, which you get uh, in every pack. There's three puzzle pieces, which ultimately builds this, uh, what's featured in this card. Which you can see from a uh, blurry view. Like Boddicker. I really don't remember when these came out. I don't know if they came out postseason or just post trade deadline. But uh, it's nice to see some of the players and updated uniforms and stuff. At least they made an effort, you know? That's one of my rare criticisms of tops uh like even with the 2015 and it's worth all their uh product year after year so how many guys are just on incorrect teams 
a Murray highlight card. Sid Bream. Sid Bream is an excellent, excellent uh, signer. He charges a dollar per card, which he gives to charity. But like a buck, I mean, you can send him five sets of cards as long as you give them. So you have six cards you like of them. You send them all together. Six bucks. They'll all come back in like a week or two. Jimmy Poole. Cal Ripken, nice highlights card. Larry Anderson, is a TTMer. Some damage to this one. Jason Grimsley. Nice Brady Anderson card. Nolan Ryan. Mickey Tettleton. Mark Lemke. Alright, well, about a quarter of the way to the box, so still good ways to go. Manto. That's Craig Vigia. Wow. Sweet Kurt Schilling. It's an early card from back in his O's days. Roger Clemens MVP, Lenny Dykstra All-Star card. Cool little card for the Phillies PC. Tom Bernanski. Nice Ron Gant. Benito Santiago, back then, he was among the best in the league catcher. I guess there's no Diamond Kings in this series, which makes sense. They probably made all 28 teams back then. Then Good old Ricky Jordan. Oh, Jimmy Eisenreich, that's a nice one. And these packs are uh, rough. Dave Parker MVP card. Fernando Valenzuela. Ben McDonald, one of the big time prospects. That uh, didn't really pan out too well. Hanger if he's senior. Nice. 
Barry Bonds, way off center. Kirby Puckett, man, look at this. Dale Murphy, man, I love that card as a kid. I remember being so excited that there was a Phillies card to him. Of course, you know, he's at the end of his career and all, but awesome. Danny Tard, well, he's a big-time signer. The card's a little on the off-center side, so I'm not going to put it aside. I just sent to him, but... One bad thing about the old stuff. A lot of off-center cards. I mean, you'll get some ones with big stuff, too. And I know some of the new products have their issues, but, geez, the off-centering is uh, not even close on some of the old things. Nice Frank Thomas there. Speeding up a little bit here, just about at the halfway point. Um, definitely making up some ground lately. Joe Carter, Padres. Wish he stayed on the Padres and didn't bother going to Toronto and destroying my childhood with his walk off homer against the Phillies. Just kidding, Joe. Turner Ward, Jose Mesa, eighteen ninety World Series card, Jose Rio, The Frank Thomas, this one's centered better, and the front of the card's torn up. Gary Sheffield. Just went by Dave McSigge. I think I've seen some people having some TTM success with him. I haven't looked him up personally, but it does seem like some people at least are having some success. Rob Deere, the strikeout king. Scott Erickson. I gotta look Scott Erickson up for TTMs. Oh, move on. Rated rookie. Look at that one. Lenny Dykstra MVP card. Dave Stive no hitter. Steve no hitter card. Dr. Dirt and Mr. Clean. Dale Murphy, Lenny Dykes. I remember when they gave that poster out. It's awesome. I do miss sometimes on the new cards some of the, uh, I don't know. They don't really seem to have as much fun sometimes as some of the old products did. Nothing exciting in that one. It still amazes me how much of this crap there still is out there that's unopened. It's, it's kind of insane when you think about it. 
the demand there used to be on all this old stuff. The Grayback Award winners. Alright guys, this pack here will uh, signify us being just about uh, three quarters of the way through this break. I feel like I had deja vu a little bit because uh, I've had the same pack a few times already. Guys, uh, remember to check out my channel. Have subscribe first of all. I have a lot of stuff going up, uh, coming out. I try and have a video up daily, so be on the lookout for that. Um, and uh, I'm working on a lot of things. I'm getting ready to record uh, some more TTM episodes and Ghostbusters box breaks, McFarland spotlights, uh, all sorts of stuff. I just you know can't wait to share with you guys. And uh, check out mtocustomphoto.com as well. Uh, I like to put up a lot of my stuff there, and I have uh, some different examples of some stuff I do uh, photo work. Check that out. And put that Jeff Cohen on the side. The one that finally isn't ridiculously off center. George Brett, three decade ch decade champ. That's pretty neat. But uh, yeah, definitely yeah, getting put to sleep. Enjoy the product, but I guess it's just that time of the year. A lot of duplicates, man. Which is unfortunate. You don't mind getting, you know, a couple of this, the same card a few times, but you, when you start getting them three, four, or five times, you're like, what the hell is going on? How big is this set? Is that like a 40 card set? 500 cards or what? We got uh, five packs to go in this 91 Donruss Series 2 box break. With green Donruss cards, which I, I like. I actually think I like them a little better than the blue. Jose de Jesus. Dirt Mr. Clean again. Well, Chris Sabo is another guy I've seen like success in and out, so I don't know what to expect there. Yeah, nice Gary Sheffield. Final two packs. And the time has come with the last pack. At the 20 minute mark, we'll crack this last 
backpack and be done with it. And then I'm going to grab some sleep. Move on. Rate it, rookie. Oh, I need to actually another MVP card. Chris Hammond again. Let's throw that aside with the TTM. Dr. Dirt and Mr. Clean again. So, you know, an interesting product. It's a product, you know, you're not going to buy for an investment, but uh, to get some base. Bust some stuff, go back in time. It's a cool thing. I actually think uh, products like these would be neat things to do with your buddies at like a fantasy baseball draft or whatever. Just to, you know, kind of reminisce and go, holy hell, I remember this guy and that guy and when this guy did that and when I went and saw that. So, pulled out some potential TTM cards. I will uh, throw that in my little TTM pile. And some Philadelphia Phillies for the collection. Nice little array of Phillies, some repeats and stuff, but still definitely excited to have those. So I appreciate it, guys. Uh, comment below, let me know your thought on 1991 Donruss on any of the cards from the um, that era. And uh, check out my other videos. Like, subscribe, comment below. Anyway, thank you, and I will talk to you next time. Have a great one.